Nothing is absolute but the absolute, that nothing is absolute but the absolute. The Sikh community or does Sikhism believe in the finality of the Akal Puruk? But we keep going back, keep going back to Punjab. Sikhi bola jaye, chai Khalsa Pan bola jaye, chai Nanak Panthi bola jaye. Un sab ke kalag alag niche hain. Anywhere there is Abhiman, Ankar, there is hate, nafrat. Jabla ko bari meet, nechal nahi cheet. And it springs from ignorance. Yeah. yeah. So it's building from ignorance. And uh, uh, as I said that we need not talk to the ignorant. We don't have. Guru Nanak Dev says that Arbat Narbat Tundu Kara Tarani Na Gagna Hukma Para Also, Guruji, I wanted to ask this whole um, SGPC as you mentioned this enfranchisement of people who don't wear the paach kakars, mm-hmm. they have they have started to make rules to kind of segregate six from the other people. Sahajdhari ni maante, ye ni maante, they are completely taking it. Look, when you don't have to say anything, you can read it, 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 you can read it. The first thing is, you can read it, 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 the Baki case died the star of the case is a love jacation. Is a hega malo, Sirte case, or Dadi, a case, a in case Monday, a case. Or Baki yo malo, Kadavi, a Vadia Shatri hega, ye Bajuban Payon, the regular product of Suraja Bajuban Payon, a goat in the Payon, I don't Karadi Penda, who were Arda Vetida. The Baki yo Kacha, Kishara, Evu Vadia Vastre. ये मान लो वे मरना खाना पर जना जंगजू करना कहता हूं सोती कट्टी आए कहता लेंगा पर गल नहीं बन रही तो बाकी चोरे तो चल बात आए चोरे दो तरह है एक दरबारी चोरा हुंदा या लम्मा हुंदा है ना तो अंग्रेज वाले जब अंग्रेज समय जो प्रभाव हुआ उथे आते इथे मान लो बैठा इथे लागे कहता बदराई तो पॉकेट आ गया अंग्रेज दा जेरी स्लिट हुंदा है तो उस ओ मुसलमान सवार तो आए इधर मिलिट्री यूनिफॉर्म पहले मिलिट्री यूनिफॉर्म करके ओ साइड फॉर इकट्ठी हो जी मां we go in the film of Botia for the university from Nisiga. Guru Seven and Malo Rakaki, I had Nila Banan as Rangala. I get on Kaita on it. A light is a lower end spectrum there. Light is spectrum on there, but the lower there. Yet they were a particular light with a shutter with the way. Yes, and another phone came a Maloki sweat on there. So I want to be otherwise the jungle jet with Satna Tolar the Kun like the way. Sari would mark and then the case bloody is easily killed. The Isra A Shatter, the Navy of the Tahiki, the Tura Hega, the Kuma, a Pyrena, the Kalyamara. He had my Chalda with Pentridge. The eat this done in case in Malo, we can do no So Guru Gobind Singh, you realize Sikhi is pure science. Oh, science here to Brahm Pacharia, Gobind Pachari, oh, sorry, is pure science. Oh, a Niki Malo, go eat Paltugal Hagi. It's a Yeda, a Rishian Rupia. A Shatrian, Shatrian soup, a singer lagge, said a sip shatri one day. It was a sip of Muleda. Yet a love sunk spy we had gone. Maybe we say in great Jane Malovo, Lambda, which Kyoke, Emperor Diocletian, Roman Emperor here, who Christian lagdaga. The Jacui, or the political Malov, Roman, Christian Bandendahi, Unushi got the Marne, Otto Pehua, Saint Soldiers. When the Saints go marching on song on the in great Jane, are they coitive with Arco? Pelo Genesigesh, Kitavitan Santos by La Vinimena. Hega Santa Jacar to her, Santon de Satogoni Maria Tavari, Yatke Shatri on the Rajogoni Maria Tavari, Yera Kalsa, Tika is the British Satogun Maria, Toredio Keria Hagia, or Rajogoni Raja Maria. The eight Tamskun to Malo Tamskudan Tian, Hega Kiki Tamskun Hega. Although all awareness, Hegi Tamskun, but Tams a Pendani Hega. So he's aware of Tamskun. His conduct is Rajaguni, but his mindset is Tattoguni. Guru Sahib Nei Tam. Guru Gobind Guru Gobind Singh, Guru Nanak Dev, Guru Nanak Maharaj. Unna jo malo khupiya siya, Sanatan Maharaj. Sari khupiya, because Sanatan Maharaj wo prani hai kitha. Unna apna lama safa kariye, apna hirek vich malo every day malo some things go like khrabi ho hande kitha. So itta hande. Sikhi ek samay itta flows gaya dekho. Hindu mat paniri. Sikhiate mother, Egea, Nirgun, Washna. Jacob, we mother, Hindu, Akin, Sikankro, Amashak, Lutia, Pata, Havija, Navi Amashaki, Nermea, Dasi, Kanka, Hayibi, Tebabe, O Baba, Gandhi, Singh, Hayibi, Mother Muki, a person, a simple person, the Veda, one of the Chanam to Miller. Yet to Sikohona, 
ਸਿੱਖ ਤੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਅਮਰਤ ਵੇਲੇ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਦਾ ਨਾ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਨਾਮ ਜਪੂੰਗੇ ਨਾਮ ਜਪੂੰਗੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਕੁੰਗਰੇ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਉਸ ਠੁੰਗੇ ਅਮਰਤ ਵੇਲੇ ਠੁੰਗੇ ਫਿਰ ਤੂੰ ਸਿੱਖ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਜੇ ਤੂੰ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰਖਿਆ ਪਰ ਅਮਰਤ ਵੇਲੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਉੱਠ ਰਹੇਗੇ ਤੇ ਪਰ ਕਿਉਂ ਕਿ ਨਾਮ ਤੇ ਆਵੇ ਪਰ ਤੂੰ ਵੈਸੇ ਕਹਾਵੇ ਪਰ ਤੂੰ ਨਾਮ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਤੂੰ ਸਿੱਖਣੀ ਔਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਿੰਘ ਆ ਉਹ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਜੇ ਮੰਨ ਲਓ ਪਰ ਕਿ ਨਾਮ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਹੋਣਾ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੰਨ ਲਓ ਫੇ ਸ਼ਾਸਤਰ ਦਾ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਵੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਧਰਮ ਦੀ ਪਾਲਣ ਕਰਨੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਵੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਂਜ ਮੰਨ ਲਓ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੱਗਾਂ ਦਾਣੀ ਰੱਖੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਕਿਤਾ ਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾਮ ਜਪਣਾ ਨਾ ਕੋਈ ਸ਼ਾਸਤਰ ਸੁਣਾ ਇਹ ਫੇ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਨਾਮ ਲੇਵਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਾਸ਼ ਹੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਕਿ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਇਤਰਾਜ਼ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਫਿਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਅੰਦਰ ਖੋਹ ਕੇ ਦੇਖ ਲੋ ਕਿ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਮੰਨ ਲੋ ਰਹਿਣੀ ਰਹਿ ਕਿ ਸੋ ਸਿੱਖ ਮੇਰਾ ਉਹ ਰਹਿਣੀ ਰਹਿ ਜੋ ਕਿਤਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਰਾਜ ਉਹ ਸਾਇ ਪਾੜੇ ਐਸ ਜੀ ਪੀ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਹੋਣ ਚ ਆਏ ਗੋਦਰਾ ਐਕਟ ਵੀ ਆਇਆ ਗੋਦਰਾ ਐਕਟ ਤੋਂ ਲੱਗ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਐਕਟ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਐਕਟ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਰ ਕੰਟਰੋਲ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਚੱਲਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਤਾਂ ਫੇਰ ਇਹ ਲੱਗ ਸ਼ਰੂਮਣੀ ਉਹ ਕਿਹਦਾ ਸ਼ਰੂਮਪਨ ਫੁੱਟਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਪਾਲੀ ਕਾਲੇ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਇਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਲੜਾ ਪਰ ਨਿਹੰਗ ਸਿੰਘ ਆਫਟਰ ਅੰਗੂ ਸਿੰਘ ਉਹ 90% ਇਹਦੇ ਜੰਗ ਵਾਲੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਦੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਨਾਂ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੇ ਜੰਗ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਇੱਕ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਪਾਰਟ ਪੂਜਾ ਕਰਦੇ 95% ਪੰਜਾਬ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜੰਗ ਵਾਲੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਮਤਲਬ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਤਾਂ ਥੋੜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਰਹਿ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਥੋੜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਰਹੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਹਾਲਤ ਇੰਨੀ ਮੰਦੀ ਹੋਈ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ ਰਾਜ ਵੱਲੇ ਇਹ ਮਤਲਬ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਆਰਮਸ ਐਕਟ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਇੱਕ ਪਾਸੇ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਮਤਲਬ ਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨਲ ਐਕਟ ਇਹ ਕਨੋ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਬਸ ਐਕਟ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਨੇ ਹੰਗ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਚ ਗਨਾਤਾ ਸਿਆਸੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਗਨਾਤਾ ਇਹ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਇਹ ਮੈਂ ਗਾਲੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਡਰੱਗ ਵੀ ਚੱਲਦੇ ਹੁਣ ਅਗੇ ਰਹਿਤ ਨਾਮ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਰਤੀ ਫਿੰਗ ਜੋ ਮਾਸਾ ਪੰਗ ਖਾਵੇ ਸਦਨ ਸੰਗ ਇਨਕੇ ਅਦ ਕਮਲ ਕਮਲ ਤੇ ਨਰ ਤੋਂ ਕਪਾਵੇ ਇਹ ਇੱਕ ਰਤੀ ਖਾ ਹਦੇ ਰਤੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੱਤ ਚੌੜ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਰਤੀ ਫਿੰਗ ਜੋ ਮਾਸਾ ਪੰਗ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਖਾਵੋ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅਮਲ ਤੋਂ ਖਾਉਂਗੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੁੱਖ ਪਾਉਂਗੇ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ ਰਾਜ ਵੇਲੇ ਇਹ ਡਰਗਾਂ ਦੀ ਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਿੰਘਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਖੁੱਲੀ ਛੁੱਟੀ ਕਰਤੀ ਦੇਈ ਜੋ ਖਾਈ ਜੋ ਸ਼ਕੀ ਜੋ ਹੁਣ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਇਲ ਡਿਸਪਲਿਨ ਹੋਈ ਹੁਣ ਐਂ ਸਵੇਰ ਨੂੰ ਮਤਲਬ ਉੱਠੀਦਾ ਐਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਚਾਰ ਘੰਟੇ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰੀਦਾ ਅੰਦ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਘੰਟਾ ਮਾਰੀ ਦੀ ਆਂ ਫਿਰ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਅਭਿਆਸ ਕਰੀਦਾ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਡਿਸਪਲਿਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੀ ਉਹ ਜਦ ਡਿਸਪਲਿਨ ਨਾ ਰਹੀ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਤੋਂ ਖੁੱਲੇ ਨਸ਼ੇ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਆ ਇਦਾਂ ਹੀ ਰਾਜਪੂਤਾਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੋਣੀ ਜਦ ਰਾਜਪੂਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਤੀਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਉਹਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਐਸ਼ ਕਰੋ ਮੌਜ ਕਰੋ ਜੋ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਕਰੋ ਹੁਣ ਤਾਂ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਮੰਨ ਲਓ ਫੇ ਕੋਈ ਗਲਤੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਦੇਸ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਦੇਖੋ ਵੀ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਰਾਜੇ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਬਸ ਉਹ ਇਦਾਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਉਹ ਚਲਾਕ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹ ਬਲੇਮ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਗੁਰਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਯੂ ਹੈ ਸਮਡ ਅਪ ਸੋ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਨਥਿੰਗ ਐਲਸ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਬਟ ਜੈਸੇ ਆਪਨੇ ਬੋਲਾ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸੈਡ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਹ ਸਰੂਪ ਹੈ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਦਾ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਫਰੰਟ ਆਫ ਆਰ ਆਈਜ਼ is a reminiscence of how guru gobind singh ji's khalsa would have been not only that how the ancient rishi munis how the ancient kshatriya would have been so even if you look at guru gobind singh's pictures on there na vaise ho hai ki hum log man ka
ਹਰ ਵਰਗ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਸੀ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨ ਵੀ ਸੀਗੇ ਹੂੰ ਨਬੀ ਖਾਨ ਗਨੀ ਖਾਨ ਪੈਂਦੇ ਖਾਨ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਰ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬੰਦਾ ਸਿਆਣਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬੰਦਾ ਨੇਕ ਹੋਵੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਮਨ ਉਹ ਹਰੇਕ ਹੁਣ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਾਮ ਚੰਦਰ ਜੀ ਜਾਂ ਬਕੇ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਰਾਮ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਹਮ ਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਵਿਸ਼ਨ ਕੌਣ ਸੀਗਾ ਉਹ ਵਿਸ਼ਨ ਨਾਲ ਲੈ ਆਉਣ ਕਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਮਗਰ ਰਾਜ ਵੀ ਨੂੰ ਦੇਦਾ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਪ ਰਾਜ ਆਖਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਮੰਨ ਲਓ ਧਰਮ ਕਾ ਮੂਲ ਦਇਆ ਪਾਪ ਕਾ ਮੂਲ ਅਭਿਮਾਨ ਦੇ ਮਾਨ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਦਇਆ ਹੋਵੇ ਹਨਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਹਰੇਕ ਦੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਕਰਦੇ ਕੱਲੇ ਕੌਮ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਸੋ ਬਿਊਟੀਫੁਲੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਡ ਦ ਇੰਟਰਪ੍ਰੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਖਾਂਦਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਰਿਪੀਟ ਥੈਟ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਦ ਕਰਵ ਸੋਰਸ ਆਰ ਦ ਦੇਵੀ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸਟ੍ਰੀ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਦ ਖੰਡਾ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂਡੇ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਖੋਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਖੰਡਾ ਦਾਰ ਅਪੀਅਰਡ ਇਨ ਦਿ ਅਰਲੀ 1900ਸ ਓਨਲੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬੇਸਡ ਅਪਨ ਵਟ ਨਹੰਗ ਉਸ ਵੋ ਕੋਲ ਗਰਗਾਜ ਓਕੇ ਤੇ ਹੈਵ ਗਜ ਗਾਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੋ ਦ ਗਜ ਗਾਸ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਗਜ ਇਜ਼ ਐਲੀਫੈਂਟ ਗਾ ਜੋ ਫਾੜ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਨ ਐਂਸ਼ੀਐਂਟ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਇਸ ਸ਼ਾਤ ਰੁਤਿਆ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਲਾਈਕ ਭੀਮ ਆਫ ਮਹਾਭਾਰਤ ਨੋ ਵੀਰ ਵਿਦਿਆ ਮਹਾਪੀਮ ਰੂਪਨ ਕੇ ਭੀਮ ਉਸ ਸੋ ਪਾਵਰਫੁਲ ਹੀ ਕੈਨ ਗ੍ਰੈਪਲ ਐਲੀਫੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਦੋਸ ਵਾਰੀਅਰਸ ਹੂ ਕੁਡ ਫਾਈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਬਿਟਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੂ ਕੈਨ ਟੇਕ ਔਨ ਐਂਡ ਫਾਈਟ ਐਲੀਫੈਂਟਸ ਐਜ਼ ਯੂ ਨੋਸ ਗਾਜ ਗਾ ਗਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਗਿਆ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਾਈ ਸਿੰਬਲ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੋ ਦ ਗਾਜ ਗਾ ਸਿੰਬਲ ਸੋ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਥਿਸ ਸਿੰਬਲ ਹੇਅਰ ਲਾਈਕ ਤਰਸੂਰ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੋ ਬੈਕ ਇਨ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਗੋ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਹਰਾਪਾ ਮੋਜੰਦਾਰੋ ਓਕੇ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫੇਮਸ ਸੀਲ ਫਰਮ ਹਰਾਪਾ ਇਟਸ ਦ ਪਸ਼ੂਪਤੀ ਸੀਲ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਇੰਡੀਵਿਜੂਅਲ ਸਿਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਅ ਯੋਗਿਕ ਪੋਸਚਰ ਉਹਨ ਮੰਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਅਰ ਇਸ ਫੀਟ ਇਜ਼ ਲੋ ਹਿਰਨ ਰਾਉਂਡਿੰਗ ਕੈਂਡੇ ਸ਼ੇਰ ਹਾਥੀ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਔਨ ਨਾਓ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਉਸ ਅ ਪਸ਼ੂਪਤ ਐਂਡ ਸਭ ਲੋਕ ਗ੍ਰੰਥੇ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਥਿਸ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਉਚਿਤ ਰਚਿਤ ਪਸ਼ੂਪਤ ਸੁਮ ਕੇ ਰੰਗ ਰਚਿਤ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਉਚਿਤ ਪਸ਼ੂਪਤ ਕੇ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਸ਼ੂਪਤ ਉਚਿਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਮਾਦੋ ਸ਼ਿਵ ਦੇ ਰੰਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੰਭੂ ਦੇ ਰੰਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਚੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਥੈਟਸ ਰੈਫਰੈਂਸ ਟੂ ਥਿਸ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਗੋਟ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ ਇਨ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਡੋਨਟ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਸਪੈਲ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਊਟ so they may reference like a particular myth and all this because the sikhs at that time especially the educated like nirmalis is their job to spell it out okay unfortunately lord monde sikhs they don't understand that that it may be a reference but there's a whole tradition behind it and they don't have they don't look into that so the pashupat they wore horns on top of their heads and you can see that and when ancient hunters hunted they wore those horns they disguised themselves as animals to get close to them the same pashupat symbol in time became a tarsur so tarsur on one hand is a weapon to check tight so when tigers attack they pounce and they slap you down swat you down the tarsur has a large catchment area so it high can swat you can control not only just call uh, tigers but even elephants as well like so the tarsur became a tarsur and there's also one there's different inter- interconnecting myths they say at the beginning of time men can was like animals but some argue they Yeah. Who they came but these and this is mentioned in the ancient texts of all like there's no dharma no thing and then a bolt of lightning the jyotilingam fell in what we now know as banaras although in the past they argued but it was over there in, uh, where that called uh, pushipati mandir is and from that dot they attained fire and with this fire they then we became civilized okay think like now if you take away fire from our life no light nothing our cooking apa pasu banjana we were like animals again So with fire they clear the jungles with fire they build the civilization hence the importance of the havan in our culture even the first line of the rigveda says agni veer purate yeah agni everything begins with agni so the khanda itself like we look at the forget the khanda the previous symbol is this half moon shape or the trisur shape that is the flame so the hearth so the yoni the goddess that's the hearth where the fire sits and then the fire itself is the jyotilinga So that's the Shiv Shakti come together. So this symbol here, the Tarsul that we have, is a symbol of Shiv Shakti. Like, and even amongst the Sadhus now, like we seek say Satriya Kal. Mm. A Gauri Sadhus in Banaras say Satriya
was adopted by the STPC. They made it from the ancient Gajiga. But the ancient Gajiga is a symbol of the Adnar Ishwarana. So if you go to, especially in the Chola dynasty, that same Pashupati symbol of the horns became a Tatsur, and then they put half male, half female. This only makes sense if you do Shahtarudya, the warrior traditions. And so we have fighting forms which are based, which are half male, half female, so on. And uh, because Shahtarudya itself was banned by British Raj, Shahtarudya can be mentioned, and we got left with the exhibition at the Gatka now. And now all that is gone, so as a consequence, all this the in depth understanding is our own. But the, the issue situation now is, there's a beautiful Punjabi saying, Bandar ke jane adhikar ka sawaad. <laughs> okay, they can't appreciate the subtleness and the depth of Sikhi. Sikhi is so deep, so profound, and the same depth is in the Vedas and the Shastras and our, our whole Sanatana culture. Like, and because most people only observe it either with the corporate life, they're limiting themselves, or this can't go to a depth. And in the past, they had a whole good wave system. So ancient, when, when the British came in, mm-hmm. two things were lost in Sikhi. There was a Sampradayak tradition of Gurudev's like individuals who were taught by the Gurus mm-hmm. and they then taught the next person, next person. So there's a good Shishya system going on. That came about and they got, uh, and when the British came and the Singh Sabhya made, they said, oh, Baba Kheem Singh Bedi, Eda Deitari Guruwa, Nindo and Haru. But Baba Kheem Singh Bedi was doing more for Sikhi in terms of doing, he was giving Amun Sitya to Sajtaris, by giving Chabnapur, he was giving Khandabhatepal, He's doing phenomenal, and there's a lot of gurus about this. That they have this whole Gurshish Prampara coming down. They did Nindya of that, and Ezari Hagaya, Deitari. And then, amongst the Khalsa, now a Sikh who is not a Shatatari, he doesn't have to worship the Devi. Like. Yeah. But a Khanda, Shatatari, has to worship the Devi. And the Devi is, a tra- is simple. You say, Pritham Bhagoti, Samake Gunnayalate. What is this Bhagoti like? If Bhagoti is just a sword, and the sword is a forged metal with an edge, it makes no sense. He says, Why would you be reflect and contemplate that before the greatest Guru, Jalt Guru Guru Nandev? So the sword has to represent something. The sword represents the Adi Shakti. The Adi Shakti is the Shakti of the Shak. The Shakti is why we were Brahma before it. And Brahm is Hukumaran, Hukumaran who gives Hukum, and his. And the Hukumaran Shakti is in his Hukum. Mm-hmm. So when we say Pratham Gauti Simarke, as in Nahang in our current trend, we say Pratham Vaheguru the Hukum Manke, Peguru Nante. Because Hukum is Lagu and Guru Nanak as well, like it's on everybody. So the Talawar itself, the, the eight armed goddess you see in the Mandars, so what's called Isri Kalyan Rupekhi. There's a beautiful shop in, in uh, Sabdu Granth. Right? It starts Nida Dora, Dangar Digar Ho Adak. that's not true. So he says, That's not true. So he says, That's not true. So he says, So he says, So he says, he refers to Chaturpunj. If you see Nirguna Bahiguru, then Vishnu had a Hora, Krishna had a Hora. But then who's Chaturpunj? Four arms. So I'm not. But think about this. We are Sanatan. And Hans will tell you, they're not only Sanatan, they're the best of the Sanatan. In the past, the Nahans, Nirmale, Sadhu Hakini, Nirmale taught Sanskrit. Adasi Babes, they also taught Sanskrit and they went to uh, the So they have some of the Adasis, Nirmale, Seopantis, and Nihan Singh Singh. They charge some of the Guruji. And they were, and they, because they're learning, so even now, if you go to Tankal, Hatwa, Rishikesh, you'll have Nirmale, mm-hmm. and you have Tkhu, Seopa, uh, Nirmale, and Adasi Babbe. Mm-hmm. And they're very, very closely linked. When you do, when the, when the Maha Kumda Mela, or Kumda Mela comes, mm-hmm. are the four Sampratas of India that lead the whole Kumda Mela, the mm-hmm. Sanyasis, Bragis are first, because they are the oldest. And then you'll have the Adasis and Nirmales. Mm-hmm. They are still together. They're still snarling at this. And the Hans will go there as well. Like. 
And so the thing is, we there's no question about it. If you look at it fairly, and you look at all the evidence, it's a Sanatan Panth. The Khalsa is the purest. And the old Sikhs was it. They would say they Hindu and they Guru Sanaksami. But not because our Hunka, our Guru, or that teacher, or our master, our professor, but they are qualified to be teachers in the universities. And the Jeko Malo Merwaka has no qualification in university. Hmm. I can't be a teacher there. So the Nahangs, the Nirmale, Dasi, Sefantes, they were qualified to be the instructors of the Hindu world. Okay. And this, hmm. and the Hindu texts, the British write this, that the Nahangs are looked upon as the gurus of the Hindus. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gurudev Ji. I think so beautifully you summed up. And uh, you, in one of your lectures, you said that, uh, you know, Jo Aage Barge Wo Sikh out of the Hindus and Jo Se Aage Barge Wo Nihang. Yeah. All of you sitting together. Gurudev Ji, you have summarized it beautifully. Uh, Professor Kapoor Ji and Jagbir Ji, your concluding remarks. I think uh, it has been a great learning experience Perfect. for me, a very great learning experience. The clarity with which uh, Bhavaji has, uh, you know, given us the perspective. In fact, the whole issue, you know, with which we thought was very concerned with us. Uh, that issue now, you have shown that this issue is such a marginal, you know, and it springs from ignorance. Yeah. Yeah. So it springs from ignorance. And uh, uh, as I said that, we need not talk to the ignorant. We don't have. And uh, the very idea that the, this uh, continuity that he has, you know, drawn, he has given us map from the ancient times to now, and with the uh, with the with the culminating in the the Nihanga as and the murat of Khalsa Swarup. I I am exalted, sir, and I go to you with full reverence. Thank you very much. Sir. Professor Jagbir Ji. I was talking about to to conclude और वो है कि साचे ते पवना भया साचे ते पवना भया पवने ते जल होए जल ते तिर पवन साजिया कट कट आप समोए ये जो विचार है ये सनातन जो संस्कृति का मूल विचार है जो उपनिषदों में एक कथा कहानियों के रूप में मिलता है और गुरुजी ने एक बहुत खूबसूरत रचना लिखी उन्होंने मारुसोले मारुसोले डायलॉग है ऋग्वेद की रचना मनासदी और सूक्त के साथ दो दो चार चार लाइनें उसकी मैं सुना के बाद में बात खत्म करूंगा गुरु नानक देव जी कहते हैं कि सृष्टि रचना से पहले क्या था और नासदी सूक्त में भी यही बात कही गई है कि वो दुनिया की सबसे प्राचीनतम फिलोसॉफिकल क्रिएशन इज नासदी सूक्त ऋग्वेद का उनमें दोनों में जो सांझ है वो बहुत कमाल की है गुरु नानक देव कहते हैं कि अरबद नरबद तुंदुकारा अरबों अरबों साल पहले एक धुंद थी अरबद नरबद तुंदुकारा तरणी ना गगना हुक्म अपारा ना दिन रैन ना चंद ना सूरज सुन समाध लगाएंदा पौण ना पानी खानी ना बाणी ओपत कपत ना आवन जानी खंड पताल सप्त नहीं सागर नदी ना नीर वहाए और ऋषि क्या कहते हैं नासदी सुख में ना सदा सीनो सदा सी तदानी नसीद रजो नो व्यो मा परोजत किम आवरीवा तू कस्य शर्मन नभा इसका मैं हिंदी काव्य अनुवाद आपको रखना चाहता हूं क्योंकि मैं मूल संस्कृत से इस रचना का हिंदी और पंजाबी दोनों में अनुवाद किया है तो मैं हिंदी में आपसे वो शेयर करता हूं जो नासदी सुख को जैसे मैंने काव्य अनुवाद के रूप में देखा है बहुत खूबसूरत रचना है वो वो है कि सत नहीं था तब और ना ही सत था सत नहीं था तब ना ही सत था अंबर नहीं था ना ही पार फैला हुआ महा आकाश छिपा क्या था और कहा किसने थामा था उसे तब तो अगम अगाध जल भी कहां था मृत्यु नहीं थी वहां 
ना ही अमर जीवन रात नहीं थी और ना दिन के प्रकाश का संकेत कोई बिना हवा के सांस लेता हुआ स्वयं वह केवल आप था एक था उसके सिवा कोई दूसरा नहीं था अनित वातम स्वदया तद एकम तो ये अंधेरा था वहां अंधेरे से ढका हुआ था तो बस निराकार शून्य तप की महा ऊर्जा से उपजा हुआ पुंज फिर पहले पहल कामना का हुआ उपहार डिजायर जो सृष्टि रचना कैसे होती है हमारा ऋषि इसकी संकल्पना करता है कि फिर पहले पहल कामना का हुआ उभार मन का आदि अनादि बीज अंतर की सूझ वाले मुनि जनों ने समझ लिया था भली भांत रिश्ता क्या है अस्तित्व का अनास्तित्व के साथ फैला दिया उन्होंने अपने सूत्र को महाशून्य के आर पार ऊपर वार और नीचे भी धारणीय शक्तियां तत्पर थी वहां ऊपर था निर्बाध बल नीचे असीम ऊर्जा एनर्जी की खेल है लास्ट में कहते हैं जानता है कौन असल में और कह सकता है कौन कहा से जन्मा और कैसे उत्पन्न हुआ ये संसार देवताओं का भी बाद में हुआ प्रादुर्भाव ना जाने रची गई कैसे ये रचना कौन है सृष्टि का करता करता या अकर्ता अंतर्यामी कौन है ऊंचे अंबर वाली इस धरा का वही जानता है जो है स्वामी इसका और या फिर शायद वो भी नहीं जानता तो मुझे लगा कि सनातन धर्म और सिखी विश्व दृष्टि की जो सांझ है वो गुरु नानक वाणी और ऋग्वेद की इन दोनों रचनाओं की टेक्स्ट के माध्यम से मैंने तो देखा है तो मैं तो जब भी गुरबाणी पढ़ता हूँ मुझे शास्त्रों की बातें याद आती हैं शास्त्र पढ़ता हूँ गुरबाणी जाती है धन्यवाद भाई सी के परमेशन मेरे एक मन में एक प्रश्न था जो मैं चाहता था कि आप जिज्ञासा है प्रश्न नहीं है मेरी जिज्ञासा मैं आपसे कि एक एक वर्ग है जो आजकल ये बातें ज्यादा करता है अडवाद की एक वर्ग है जो ज्यादा मासिस है वो वर्ग वोकल है वो वोकल पर मैं केवल सोचता हूँ कि ये जो आपने नाम लिए जैसे उदासीन है उदासी है निर्मले है निरंकारी है नामधारी है इन ये चर्चा में क्यों नहीं आते इनके बारे में क्यों नहीं कुछ भी आवाज ही नहीं आती निहंग है अब जैसे इन्होंने बल्कि पॉलिसी में इन लोगों को मार्जिनलाइज कर रखा है अलग कर रखा है तो ये क्या कारण है एक की गल सिर्फ अकाली अजकल वाले असली वाली अकाली नहीं जेडे अजकल वाले है उन्होंने गल हों बस एज इफ दे रिप्रजेंट दर सिख कम्यूनिटी सो इन गुरबाणी जिस बहुत सिखी उठ गया If you sum up Sikhi, like if you sum up what Sikhi is, if you sum up the whole spiritual tradition in all of India, like what how does this, what's the summation of it? Nanak de kar ke wo naam. There's nothing but naam, okay? Naam. So the reflection, the contemplation of the imprint. If you go to any sampradha in India, but you go to like the Vaishnav sampradha. So ek man hoye pa jo narayan. There's a rat now in South Dogra. Yeah, rat. The most Sikhs are not even aware of. and when guru nanak speaks of the when guru gobind singh speaks of this it leaves sikhs completely astounded that this exists so this will tell you what the ancient sikh guru gobind this is what guru go so guru gobind singh he had muslims few them like sufi song and many of those muslims were in fact individuals who have been forced to convert from hinduism or have been cursed through paying zakia and so on and the reason why arjun dev was such called uh, Martyred by the Muslim Mughals was because he's bringing a lot of them back into the, into the Sanatan faith through Sikhi mm. and so on. Mm. But the, you say, what kind of red Guru Gobind Singh? I mean, you have by this Sikh red Nama, by that Sikh red Nama, you have by none not red Nama. Is there a red Nama that Guru Gobind Singh gave, which can put, put shine light on this Sanatan question and so on? I'll give you this, and then I will tell you exactly why more Desi Sikhs are not speaking up. So this is from Sabdo Granth, and this is the only Ratnama in the Kada that we actually follow. He says, "This is the whole summation." Says, "Ut prapatte karosh nama." Get up in the morning, and with the Lord's name, jabo pad pankuch meli na. So focus your mind on Lord's feet. Jata shat dan puke ko kam, 
nimk nimk rang pina so kaun ji capacity po khan daan karo give to the poor give knowledge if you so daan can be forms of kapde can be forms of gives a food can be forms of gyan hmm krodh nawar okay you got to get rid of krodh krodh nawar daya man lavo hinsa durmatya ko so get rid of krodh anger adopt compassion daya man lavo hints of violence and evil thinking when i teach out to that i tell you i teach the most efficient way of killing with weapons firearms and all but i'm not violent don't tell you that hmm ek man hoye bhajo narayan narayan the jo mard thade andar hai narayan khima ta narago love the dharma forgiveness now this next bit is where is going to be interesting from the snatan perspective tirath bharat neem such kriya seel santok acharo so go do tirath do bharat do neem do such kriya be gentle be contentful ye achan puja tilak पूजा करो तिल करो होम करो पूजा तिल होम गायत्री सो गायत्री मंत्र पढ़े से वी नहांग एही गायत्री मंत्र ही पढ़ दे इन फैक्ट गुरुदेव आई रेड दैट भगत सिंह जी यूज्ड टू रिसाइट द गायत्री मंत्र एवरी मंथ साडे दासी भ्रा निर्मल भ्रा उस आई गायत्री पढ़ दे हम वी नहांग जोन के साडे एही चंडे वी वर्शिप द देवी से हम पूजा तिल ज्ञान सिंह तिल कलम दे एही खोंद तिल कलम दे ओ चंदन ने लांदे पूजा करदे पूजा तिल होम गायत्री संध्या तक संतार विष्णु हो गए राम हो जो भी हो इष्ट देव रिखी पितर रिखी ऋषि मुनिया नु अपने पितरा नु एंसेस्टर्स ब्राह्मण इंग्लिश सर गाओ लाइक लेडीज ओके थ्रू इष्ट देव जो योर पर्सनल डेटीज थ्रू योर थ्रू योर एंशिएंट सेजेस थ्रू योर एंशिएंट एंसेस्टर्स ब्राह्मण्स गाओ काउस अबेगत साधुस इन नु मन्नो के ना सेलिब्रेट देम एक्नॉलेज देम एंड देन ही गोस ए कीट हस्त मेरु तरनन में के फ्रॉम द माउंटेन फ्रॉम द कीट फ्रॉम द एंट from the mountain from the from the ant to the elephant from the mountain meru to the blade of grass sab mein ranjan jano hmm sat roop atma banashi the indestructible true form the true atma brahm sat pachano recognize that brahm in all things sab pe sab mein like everywhere there is ram every go in ek brahm so kat kat puran aaj pakwan so the one brahm that is in every heart and every being oi hai ga pakwan and the thing is this <coughs> is what guna is saying ke naan se kar ke bol naam and when you forget this you know this is the code of conduct and thought according to the right guru gobind singh guru gobind singh mara sab log rakh sakte then when you forget this ke guru naan se kar ke bol naam this is naam this is naam is the sikhi is how life is spiritual way path when you go off the spiritual path and many times okay i go to england i go cousins my cousin is a complete monna ko na has no has does no it doesn't get naam ja aap nasina this but he'll count he'll argue for Kazakhstan to the very end like un all that kuch nahi hai kada they are almost trying to make up for what they lack in sikhi abhi hai kam pura mera kada he still there is young so no aaj mata jo ki samay the thing is naam jap das das the key thing and when you leave naam jap when you go off the track of naam jap you go off that spiritual discipline then you will get all this pambal uh, pusa you get all that confusion you get all this karahe mark and so on then you lose track of everything and then in this world is so naam jap is what anchors us to reality and the reality what is anchors us reality is brahm like mm-hmm. and when we when we when we are no longer no longer anchored to brahm like we can't to recognize that sab kat ke ek brahm sab kat kat puran aad par ko hai we don't recognize that i don't see that then you have arguments of this you know caste and is hindustani this 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 and whatever so that so if you say why are they doing all this oh naam jap de ji ji aaye gal hai aur bade gurudev ji one last question is that i heard that sikhism uh, emerged because there was this lot of problems with the hindu faith casteism ye wo usko theek karne ke liye reformist tha sikhi that's what i've heard so no no in our tradition we don't see that way okay obviously 
Everything can get problems. We can go sick. I can be healthy now and tomorrow I'll be sick and so on. So there are issues in the world, but that was not the case that Guru Nanak came. Because uh, that's the revolutionist thing. That the revo- uh, the revo- people believe that Sikh is a revelation. They'll say, like, it's called, uh, there was a uh, near everywhere, like, mm-hmm. so take that, that took a pike as Aji, like, Mirti to the Kundagir, as in Gunan Paritway. That's not the case, though. Mm-hmm. It's in the scheme of Brahm, like, Brahm, by his very nature, is yeah. infinite. Mm-hmm. And he's ever renewing him. Also, that Navakalam like He's ever renewing himself. And there are so many ways that Brahm almost is at all is reaching out to you. If you take one step towards Brahm, he takes a thousand steps towards you. And as a consequence, so Sikhi is not that there's Nira and Guru Nanak came to. No, no. Guru Nanak happened in the scheme of things. So the old Babi, like Magali, Babi, the thing he would say. In uh, Satyuk, there's a pair of uh, Vasudev, then Treta is Ram, and Dwapur is Krishna, and it's a pair of Guru Nanak. Yeah. And every yug, we just pair of Guru Nanak, we come again and again and again, and so on, it's infinite. Because our belief is in the cyclic, and so on. Yeah. Now, Guru Nanak's pair is not for everybody. Like. Mm-hmm. There are other Gurus as well. Like, if you look, in the, if you look uh, and this is the Monday Sikhs, how it's issue. They are like Christian thinking. They're saying, like, Jesus Christ is the only God, the only way to salvation is through Jesus that's the only one. No, no. There are numerous individuals who are enlightened in the world at any given time. Wise, Yanis, and all that. And obviously, Murka Yara, but we know that there are the odd, the large majority. Large majority is that way there. But they always exist like. And Guru Nanak was such as well. Like. Yeah, so, yeah. In Guru, so, Guru Nanak is for us Sikhs. Mm-hmm. No, this is, this is, that's a beautiful experience. So that the Brahm is ever renewing itself. Yeah, Brahm is, the, Brahm is ever, ever new. He's ever not renewing. renewing. It's ever renewing. Like Brahm is radiant. He's everywhere all the time. So this idea that suddenly you all came dark and there's no Brahm anywhere, that's not true. Like mm-hmm. Guru Nanak, Brahm was always there. Brahm is always there. If you look at it, if you look, it's like this. It's like um, if the sun is shining, and but I close my eyes, I don't see it. Hmm? If my Panda is raining, Jim Jim Batse, Puma Panda, Muta Marda, I'm not collecting any Amrit like. <laughs> so you can open your eyes, hmm? open your kapar, your panda, hmm? <laughs> study Bani, study, no, okay, study, study Bani, study the base, study the Shastra, wherever you can get this Brahm can. So, okay, nowadays they say like Agya Prika Gita, and then they talk about the Guru Granthi Mani, or Paragur Gate. I will tell you some contrast. The old Hangs, they love and they die for Guru Granth and Dasam and Sabdo Granth. But their belief is, the Magdev said, Gurbani is, speaks of Brahm the infinite. And what is infinite, it cannot be confined to the finite. Okay? So, Guru Granth said, is, is like a, it's a, it's a pure sarovar of Brahm Gyan. It's the easiest way, like, but Brahm is everywhere, in every hita, every heart, everywhere. And you can see Brahm in all things. You can see Brahm, not just in scriptures, but even in actions of a child, whatever, so on, in the birds, in the trees. Brahm, like he says there, ek Brahm, sab kat kat puran, ad purpagwano. So when you limit yourself, and, that's it, and then not only limit yourself, now they'll go to a Godwara and they'll sit down. I've seen this, and they will ask people like they read, the shop is being read, and then you say when they leave the darbar, you just ask them what shop did you hear them? Mm. No, they have a, a clue because their brain was somewhere else. Like it's like that Maulvi was thinking about his horse and Guru Nanak, and so on. Guru Nanak they could put it. So the thing is, you got to focus on it and study Gurbani. You're to be only for anybody. You got to basically jeko khawe jeko ponche tiska hotara. You got to Eat it, then digest it. Otherwise, if you don't digest, the food is not good. So, the issue with modern day Sikhi is, and many Hindus as well, like many Muslims as well, I would say, many other people as the well, they do not reflect deeply. If they do reflect deeply, they will understand that anywhere there is Abhiman, Ankar, if there is cold, if uh, there is hate, Nafrat, Jablak, Oberi, Meat, Jablak, Natural nahi cheat. 
Yeah. So if the philosophy of these Khalistanis, and I, mm-hmm. I know you don't want to mention it, but you're saying, if their philosophy was saying not to hate, then I would say, okay, let's listen to you guys. But their first premise is you've got to hate someone, and then their second premise is you've got to destroy something. They want to destroy Sikhi builds, and it sheds all hatred. Nako bari, nako bagana, hum sagal sang meet kya. We're friends with everybody. Okay, okay, uh, like I said, in society, criminals, we let low tie kettle, murk one day, we just don't engage with them. The ones who are katrapanthis and fanatical, who only have one understanding and they won't dare look at others, them only gonna be up in Jagas, so key of your wherever you are, stay there. So, Appa, we're gonna Appa Sanj Boni get that, your Siane Bande, your Nek Bande, your Changi Bande. And I'm pretty sure even now in this day, I travel all the world, like I stay a month in one country, then another month in all that. In most places I go to, I always come across good people. Whereas America, Canada, Europe, wherever I go, the majority of the world is good. But sometimes, Kali Pande, Yara Karakade Hundega. And uh, so these empty vessels, they make too much noise, and we, forget, and we don't hear the good people. Like. But the good people do exist, and we should have faith in that. Hmm? Pala, they say in the Kara, Apta Pala is in Sarbatta Pala. Sarbatta Pala. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Gurudev Ji. And uh, the last thing I want to ask that the Gurudwaras, mm-hmm. uh, the, the Parampara of Gurudwaras started quite late. They were all temples first mm-hmm. with Vishnuji and all the idols there which were removed and then converted to Gurudwaras. Mm-hmm. So um, do six bow down to uh, the Hindu idols and gods, Vishnu, yeah. etc. I mean, that is one question that is... Okay, okay. so let's have a look. So, Sikhi is a, a school of thought, which is, we worship the Nirguna Vaheguru. Okay? And that Nirguna Vaheguru is not Sardam form like. So, even ancient Hangs, like in my Kara, I mean, I'll get up there in Italy, like, we do Prakash Shastras, and we look upon the Shastras away from Devi, and we do keep an image of the Devi, like, we have a Murti of Devi. But we don't sanctify Devi, so we don't worship idols. So in that line, Sikhs can take that and they say, look, the Guru said, So it's it's false. But the Guru is saying, if, okay, so let's look at this, a Murti. Murtis are not even images, they're iconic representations. They represent something. Every image in our in our kara, we have the image of Jagdambe, and every aspect is iconographic. So iconographic, everything represents something. It doesn't mean it's like like reading words. Now, if you don't understand what the Devi represents, the image it represents, and then you just buy into it, it's meaningless. That's the that is what we're talking about. That is wrong. Like. But if you understand where it is, so in the ancient Khalsi of old, generally, there's a guy called Wilson, he writes, the Nahang generally worship Durga by piling a lot of weapons together. But if the old Murti of Durga exists, very old, ancient perspective, they will bow before it. Now, we bow to these Murtis and images and so on, but the Nahang is also, Magadev said, if you look at like the word mandar. Okay, this is Nahang. So Nahangs are not really there. They say Mande Andar. So man, Mandar they translates Mande Andar. So Shiva represents Bhopati. Okay, like love and devotion. So I put the god. So each devta represents a god, a virtue. Shiva is Bhopati. So in my heart, I keep Bhopati. Vishnu is Savetta, Savacha, culture, and so on. So I keep that culture in there. And each devta they convert to a god, and unka satkar jo hai, adab hai, wo apne hirdej rahte hai. Kaki khalsa bhi dev po, dev devta devta jo hai. So in that sense, when we recognize, but if I see image of dev, of Ganesh, I see image of Vishnu uh, and so on, I know exactly what it represents. Like. Hmm? So I will bow to that understanding. Like, hmm? That's what it represents. Like, so in that context. They do have it. But because they're Nirguna worshippers, mm-hmm. they do not do Artyan and all that there. But they, at the same time, as Guru Gosling explained to Rangzev, mm-hmm. that you think you can destroy all these books 
and then the Hindu faith will, will vanish. Is that not true? So every boat that you destroy, this is this is not called uh, Parthian Sevada. So the Mithra boat, so every boat you, every island you destroy, those who worship them, they go home and make one out of, out of clay. They make one out of Akta, the norm. You are actually, you are actually, uh, what, you are creating uh, of idols. The only true idol, said Guru Gobind Singh, is a Persian couplet, is ego. Because everybody worships their own ego, like between Nam, so Nam has really one enemy, Name Home which Between Nam and Home ego, there is enmity. And they cannot stay and exist in one place. So the only true idol is ego. Nothing else. So you gotta destroy that. That's the Buddha Prasti you want to ego. Otherwise, yes. I go. So when so I go to Mandras, I go to sometimes I go to Sufi Jag as well. I go wherever where there's knowledge, where there's wisdom, I as a Sikh, I can do namaskar and so on. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, do I do like uh, there's three types of namaskar. Hmm? If they do Rabdi Parivasa do rag, that's that's offensive. Like do rag as a to do with the rag. That's that way. If I just do this, namaskar like that means I respect. I respect you. If I go to a mandir, I will respect. If I drop to my knee and do Bidasana and do Prakash Mashatra and do that, that means I do full namaskar. Mm -hmm. So with the Devi, he says, Nidadora, Dangar, Deegan, Ho, Adak. Okay, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to say that. You are not going to say that. You are not going to say that. Devi said that. You are not going to say that. You are not going to say that. You are not going to say that. Not just not going to say that. I prostrate myself for you. So in the past, it was pretty common for Sikhs when they went to Nanpur to go on to Nana Devi as well. Hmm? There's even a Brahmin family there. They have a patra which says, Kadiya Sada Prot hai, Jo Sade Haan Inanu Mannan. So when you go there, there's a Brahmin family there, and they show this patra in Tamba. They show this, which, then you give them 100 rupees or whatever you want to give them. That's how so the ancient sayings, they went. So Vishwanath Mandar was given gold by Maharajit Singh. Many mandars were basically built by Sikh Sadars and so on, and they kept mandars and they kept murtiya and they did that. So yes, there is a, and there is a car. And then some of the Sikh kings, main Sikh kings, were actually married into Rajput families and so on. So their wives. So if you go to Kila Mubarak, mm -hmm. there's a whole mandar upstairs which murtiya, well, shivling and all the rest of it, Shaligram belong to the Rani of all of what they are. And they and the Brahmin every day comes and worships there as well. So yes, there is. That happened, and there is a car like so. Pai, there's a guy called Avtas and Jiri, he made it says, We are not like Muslims and we're not like Christians. We don't destroy idols, okay? We may not worship idols ourselves, but we do respect them. Like, it's really the only, only Nirakar, Brahma uh, sects, Hindu sects yeah. also, they don't uh, worship idols. Yeah, because many they, Hindu they, sects also. They both, this, 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 you can realize in the Hindu world, there's the Nirguna schools, the Nirigar ones, yeah. like the Kabir Panthis and so on, and there's Salguna worship. But there has never been a conflict, like no, no. Conflict. They know it. They know if there's an image and so on, they know what it represents, and what it represents is something sacred, like. Mm -hmm. So it's a consequence. That's why in Guru Granth Sahib, if Guru Arjan there was hostile to images, he wouldn't have defined why Guru as Chaturput. Mm -hmm. No, it could be like mm -hmm. that's four arms, like. And if you go to seek fresco art. So they destroyed a lot of it now. But if you go to like uh, Baba Tal, other places, so on, and not everywhere in the old days, I mean, they would all have a representation of Vaheguru Guru as four armed Vishnu. There is also that beautiful line that uh, idea as idea mm -hmm. and idea as idol. So there are both ways of representation. Thank you so much, Gurudev Ji, Professor Jagdeep Singh Ji, and Professor Kapoor Singh Ji. I think uh, that's a beautiful wrap to this whole panel discussion. And I think we've covered everything. There's nothing left to be covered. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody has any questions, we can take one or two questions. I have uh, just uh, one question with respect to the present situation and not really the theological background of Sikhism. And that is uh, concerning the Rehat Mariyada. Now, uh, one of the main uh, bases on which the separation was forged between Sikhs and Hindus was the invalidation of the Puratan Mariyada and uh, constructing a new Mariyada, although it was a compilation. 
but a whole lot of things, uh, particularly the rules of association, which is very typical to Hindu dharm, and that is actually the uh, actually the social basis in which the spiritual tradition is embedded. So that was discarded in favor of the new Maryada, and which in fact does away with all of these things. For instance, uh, not just the uh, rules of association, where to eat, what to eat, what should be uh, served, and all that, which is exactly what was there if you read if one reads the Puratan Maryada it is exactly similar to the Hindu uh, this thing it was basically just standardizing the rules of association in a society but that has been discarded and the new Maryada I mean because it attempted to uh, take that line about casteism being done away with so that discards all those rules of association so what is Applicable now is this new Maryada. So where do you see, I mean, even if you have a very deep theological uh, foundation in Hindu uh, religion and the philosophical ideas of Hinduism, fact remains the communities have been effectively, politically, constitutionally separated. So where do you see a solution? Because no matter how many, they'll say the old Maryada was interpolated, it was written by Brahmins and such stuff. The question arises, why did no, the I, Guru I get it written by Brahmins? No, I don't think uh, that uh, separation is as uh, as you suggest, because myself and Jagdirji, we travel all over Punjab and we talk to large audiences. And uh, I think we are received very well and yeah. listened to very very respectfully. The it's, it's more apparent, you know, it's a small section which is very vocal, of course. And it is a political, it is a political and it is also funded. And uh, there is a, uh, a constructed problem of identity, Asmita. Yeah. Wo a constructed problem. Hai. Yeah. Wo is hai ke jo ki apni asli pehchan hai wo jante nahi hmm. you see agar asli pehchan pehchane ki to main in the i mean in punjab i belong to amritsar as born there i studied in khalsa college i came to delhi in 58 and i am here but we keep going back keep going back to punjab off and on off and on and in small places like phagwara and other places nowhere i felt nowhere you feel and i and i will speak very openly i mean we don't uh, we don't uh, gloss over things. We openly pose the questions and uh, discuss. Nowhere, uh, I think I should put it the other way. Everywhere we were treated with great respect and listened to. Listened to. You've got to realize the wrath in the ancient days was two types, which they don't make a distinction. So this is where it goes wrong. Like there's pramatic spiritual wrath. So at the spiritual level, everybody is equal. Like our atma is same. Like doesn't matter where we are. Like even not just with human beings, even with animals and plants and trees and so on. So the Pramath work is saying, uh, so the Pramathic level is saying, the issues are, is when we come to Vivaharak, okay, everyday conduct. In the past, the life cycle rituals that existed for marriage, for ethical birth and all this, depended on your particular caste. So Jats in a particular way, the Brahmins, the Khatris, and that's common throughout India and so on. So in the when the Singh Sabhi was emerged, 1873, 1878 onwards, and then really by early 1900s, they began to think, in order for us to be separate from the Hindu world, we need to construct our own life cycles and so on. So even the Nandakar marriage that you have now really, it's not historical at all. Like, there's a version amongst the Nandakaris early on by 1850, something like that. But if you read Sui Prakash, ancient texts, all the Sikh Gurus, they had Vidyavyas. As is tradition like. So they are peculiar which for Vivaharak customs to every Jat, Brahadri, and so on. So this wrath that you're talking about now with the STPC, that only was formulated even latest by 1950s and so on. It's just it's ongoing even now, like huh. and they made it simple, like. So they just like Christianity, I mean Altas and Bahiria actually addresses this. He says it's not simple as I believe in Jesus Christ. And that's it. I am now a Christian. It doesn't work like that. In Sikhi, to have faith in Guru Nanak and Guru Gobind Singh, fine, you have faith in Guru Nanak. But that's not the key thing. The key thing is to abide by their instruction. So as the Guru said, this is the Mariyata, this is how you do Namja. This is your Rani Vani, like so on. You've got to live Gurmat. You cannot just say, I have faith in Gurmat from a Kamp take on Hari. It doesn't work like that. So, this Monday Red, it is there, 
And so you have Amatari Sikhs in particular, many of them, who will uh, quote it and say, this is what the Red Naman says. But don't forget, Adasis, Nerule, Seopantis, and all this, they did not participate in that Red. So the Nahangs, have their, we have our own Red. And so on. And uh, even within the Nahangs, you find there's differences. So I'm a Sanatani Nahang. Others are not Sanatani, so I'm on their own. And uh, even amongst, uh, if you listen to Ardas, Nanak Sari Ardas is slightly different from SGPC Ardas, from Burda Ardas. So if I just listen to Ardas, you can say it's slightly Mariyadda different. Like. So, but this, they are, and I believe that we must, it's like, it's Panjungli Yagata. You can't pull them all these digits to make them one. Oh, hat kandam ho jayega. It'd be no good. Like, a degree of divergence is going to happen. So, Sikhs who live in the UK, they have been interacting with the Western world there, so their Mariyadda is slightly altered. In ones in America, they have peculiar situations. So, all so Baharik red is never one. It, and if you try to make it one, it'll never happen. Like, and it evolves and it changes and so on. Even the red namas we have, they are normative. They are forming. If you look at each red nama, they are normative. Sometimes they contradict each other as well. Like, and so then the red namas are not absolute either. Like. Okay, but the Pramatic red, which is universal, which is spiritual, that is eternal. Like all the rest is, they can change and alter and so on. So again, the whole thing about separating Hindus from Sikhs, okay, mm-hmm. is 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 born out of British Raj politics and so on, and uh, decided to divide and rule like, and then in many cases the Indians themselves now carry on this forward like. So the, all the bad habits of British Raj, somehow the Indians want to keep alive. So the Indians are making sure that the British Raj even will carry on. Yeah. So we should, the, the idea is like put these differences aside. So Mansky, Jad, Pachano, like, okay, respect each other, learn from what is good from each other, and what is negative in each other, you discard that. It's simple as that. So non the Karki will not. So the red, like Professor Sahib said, like in the villages, Amongst Hindus and Sikhs is PR like, and the Khalistani movement. I was there in Punjab when the Khalistani was there. It failed not because the Khalistanis were useless or most of the security was so effective. It's because the Punjabi people, the Hindus, the Sikhs, and all that, were not natte siya, PR siya, and they refused to be consumed by hatred. And that's because of that bond, it survived. So, Sikhi bola jaye, chay Khalsa pan bola jaye, chay Nanak panthi bola jaye. Un sab ke alag alag. नीश है एक इनका ऐतिहासिक महत्व हिस्टोरिकल पर्सपेक्टिव है एक इनका राजनीतिक पर्सपेक्टिव है जो कि मुगलों से और गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी के समय में कुछ एक दिशा थी और एक इनका स्पिरिचुअल है जो कुछ भी है फिर गोविंद सिंह जी के बाद बंदा बैरागी एंड देन देयर वाज दिस हायटस फिर रणजीत सिंह जी आए एंड देन अंग्रेजों का दौर आया और फिर अब आधुनिक सिखिज्म आ गया सब में अलग-अलग प्रकार से दिशा और दशा है सिखिज्म की चाहे खालसा पंथ की बोले विचित्र नाटक में पढ़ो तो खुलम खुल्ला कई चीजें ऐसी लिखी हैं कि अगर एज अ हिंदू मैं वो पढ़ता हूं तो मुझे वो अच्छा नहीं लगता है हालांकि लोग बोलेंगे विचित्र नाटक तो बड़ा हिंदू धर्म के पक्ष में बट लोगों को पढ़ना चाहिए क्या है उसमें क्या नहीं है राम अवतार में लिखते हैं सब कुछ डिटेल में लिखा लास्ट में लिखा कि भाई मैं इन सबको नहीं मानता हूं ये भी लिखा गया है उसका ऐतिहासिक पक्ष भी है जैसे युद्ध हुए हिमाचल में गढ़वाल में क्यों हुए लोगों को पता है नहीं पता है पता रहना चाहिए फिर जो कुछ भी हुआ आनंदपुर चमकौर नादौन तो ना तो ये सब जब तक ये सब चीजें पूरे समग्र रूप से हम नहीं देखते हैं कैसे गुरु गोविंद सिंह जी के युद्ध हुए मुक्तसर आए दमदमा साहब आए नांदेड़ गए आगरा आए मुगल सेना के साथ उनका क्या रिलेशनशिप था था ना क्योंकि ये औरंगजेब के मासिर में भी लिखा हुआ है जो उनके गुर शोभा है उसमें भी मेंशन है सेनापति के कि उनकी संधि थी औरंगजेब के साथ उसके साथ वो राजपूतों के साथ उनके युद्ध भी हुए हैं अजमेर में चित्तौड़ में और फिर वो मनसबदारी का भी एक सिस्टम है जो कई लोग उसको जानते हैं या नहीं जानते हैं लेकिन एक मनसबदारी का भी बहादुर शाह से जो उनकी 
संधि हुई थी तो समग्र रूप से जब ये देखा जाता है तो मैं ये पाता हूँ कि एक राजनैतिक मूवमेंट है हम इसको ईश्वरीय विधा क्यों बनाते हैं हालांकि सिख ग्रंथों में उनको ईश्वर के रूप में जैसे गुरुजी ने स्वयं कहा है कि वो नानक तब थे किसी ने उनको जनक भी कहा है जनक का भी रूप कहा है कि जनक और फिर त्रेता में और तो निमी के वंशज हैं फिर so rather than deification we have to see it as a political movement so nothing in life is black and white nothing is simple and so on so yes the guru is interacting with the moguls so right from the beginning guru nanak when babar came there's a, there's a tradition that babar actually met guru nanak dev yes and guru nanak they basically he wanted ashirwad to rule india and guru nanak said if he rules then you must rule justly both for hindus and muslims and so on and then the time that you break this pledge through justly then my my pant would tear you down so that's mentioned in pant prakash and such and so on later on even in for uh, guru arjan dev's time so so on sai miami so on sai miami like he laid the foundation of the golden temple and so on he was a guru to the moguls uh, at that time as well and uh, even at the time of uh, shahid the uh, arjan dev there were many moguls including sai miami who wanted to to call uh, the to save gurajin dev and so on and then guru gobind singh also had the dialogue with the bahadur shah so when he came into punjab so the first individuals who fought against the guru were actually the hill rajas and they hindus like but the hill rajas you would think of most political entities they're fighting each other all the time as well like you were the one yeah rajas who were fighting each other and then when bahadur shah came you know to call with when prince Uh, the he was a prince that time came he showed deference to guru guru gobind singh because one of his teachers in secret she says was by nandlal goa and uh, bahadur shah was more so inclined towards spirituality and he spared guru nanak and guru nanak in bajitan nadak yes guru gobind singh babar ke and nanak de and so on so life is never black and white is always this is like here like we have bjp government now yet when uh, king fahd died in saudi arabia they had a days holiday uh, recently the queen died in england and they think they lowered their flags to half mast and so on so it's very simple to have a narrative which is based on assumptions and simplicity and so on but the true truth of gurbani like in gurgran serves in bujitar nat like yes when you say that at the end like paenge jab se tumre tumse koi aag tari na ke ram rahim pran kare hame ke kirpa na Siri Aspan Kirpal. So at the end, the word is Siri Aspan. It's the goddess he's worshiping, not Ram. It's goddess, because uh, Dasan Granth is mainly a Yudh Granth, and he says in there, "Agar vaashna ho na chitme ek tarun Yudh ka chau." He's and in second part of this text, he wants the Hindus to regain regain the status what they had in Raghu Bans and Ram Chandra. He wants, and there's a word there. There's a word in Ashram ka Yudh. They want to erase them. so they tain they tain chatra so they are and outer mughals hindu da and call hindu dharm jage turk dant paaje and so on but the guru was not passe against every muslim okay he did not indiscriminately just kill muslims so on in gujran said the muslims and he himself there's even a, a rep now for muslims called uh, sukhmana written he used said as well like life is complex and the gurus are complex and we cannot just rely Lines on simple are very simple. complex yeah, lines right? are very complex yeah yeah so and, uh, you got to look into all that and so yes on one hand it is thing. political yes it is political but there's a spirit there's this it is spiritual as well there's a spiritual spirituality is the most important thing and but there's a political element to it because if the gurus did not step into the arena of politics and so on is uh, what's well, that's a famous uh, if you remember this bulle shah the huh? बात उनको जब की बात उनको तब की अगर गुरु गुरु गोविंद सिंह ना होते सुनत होती सब को एंड गुरुदेव बात दैट इज टू रिमेंबर्ड एज हिंद की चादर एंड सो ऑन एज वेल लाइक नाउ यू से दिस सीक्स फाइट ओनली मुस्लिम्स नो दे फोर्ट राजपूत एंड देन लेटर ऑन द मिस अपेयर दे फोर्ट इच अदर एज वेल लाइक एंड दे स्टिल डू दैट आउट एज वेल सो लाइफ इज कॉम्प्लेक्स इट्स नॉट सिंपल लाइक बट यू कैन ऑलवेज देयर इज ऑलवेज अ स्टैंडर्ड ट्रूथ इफ देयर इज ब्राह्म देयर इज अ स्टैंडर्ड ट्रूथ लाइक So you can do the arithmetic. A lot of people don't like the headache of doing arithmetic, looking at truth and all this. They want a simple answer, like black and white. Life is never black and white. 
Thank you so much, uh, Guruji. And I think all these questions of the relevance of Sikhi in today's times, when we are not in those warrior times, I think uh, just the way Jainis and uh, Buddhists have their own belief system, the Sikhis also, it, the, that's the, in the Vedic Sanatani philosophy, they all exist and they all have relevance and they all contribute. I think that's so beautiful to understand all the relevance of these funds. And it's like 70 years that RSS has been trying to bridge the gap between Sikhs and Hindus. My question is just one simple. Why does the BJP always get three or four seats from Punjab? It casts a doubt about who that ultimate entity was and whether that ultimate entity knew that he was creating himself. Does the Sikh community or does Sikhism believe in the finality of the Akal Purukh that there is only one Akal Purush? I just wanted to ask this so that it is in consonance with what he said. Okay, let me share this. Okay, so the word is Sargun. Okay. And when Nirgun Vaheguru goes into deep samadhi, deep samadhi, where there's no consciousness of self or other, then the existent becomes a non-existent. And when from deep samadhi, samadhi emerges, then that what was non-existent becomes existence like. So we're talking about something that's beyond, which is a gum and a gutter, beyond our senses, our minds, and so on. The Vedas. That, that particular talk, I've already made time as well, is so wonderful that they have such an open mind that they're willing to concede this mm. and so on. So Brahman, like Brahman, if you go in the sum, it's like uh, in what's called uh, Mudukya Panishad, they speak about the states of what's called wake, sleep, deep sleep, dream sleep, say deep sleep, and then the state with no consciousness of self and so on. When, when Brahman, becomes Savekal Samadhi, completely immersed in himself, like, or herself, I don't know how you want to find it, then there's no consciousness of this or that, or other or that. At that moment, the existent becomes the non-existent and so on. And then that's the point that where our mind, our intellect, what we say in Punjabi, in Sanskrit, Agam Agotar, like, it's just, it's just uh, it, at that point you become a gunga. Hmm? It's like a gunga trying to explain the taste of sugar, like like the Vedji says and so on. So that is the question. That, that's what there is. So the Vedas are talking about this. Guru Nanak will speak about this. So this it, the, one of the great thing about India is they never we have what called uh, Shekar, 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 Guru Guru Reko Vesnek. So we have six schools of philosophy: the Vedantic philosophies, women's and all that. Some of them were atheistic. In the Western sense, some were theistic. Sometimes the same school had branches of theism, atheism, but they never ever argued over this. Over this. They argued about salvation, how to get mukti, like, and so on. And so mukti is more important: how to free yourself from suffering, how to attain that wisdom, that knowledge, which frees you from suffering, like. So this idea of fighting over idea of atheism or theism again is a hangover from the British again, like with their Christian mentality. We in our culture, we went beyond this centuries ago. There's no need to drag ourselves back down that road again. Like, So yes, when Brahm, when you immerse yourself totally into Brahma, and then at the end, when Brahm immerses himself, then that world's existence becomes a non-existent. That's how Magadev explained to me, because I had the same question for him as well. To do. So the question, so they have an English translation, I'll give you a before word. Nothing is absolute but the absolute, that nothing is absolute but the absolute. Thank you. Thank you so much, Guruji. And I think uh, this conference and all that we are doing is a step to illuminate whatever has been forgotten in Punjab and hope they listen, they understand their politics, they go against it and then, you know, there's a new revolution that comes. I think this is what we are trying to do by all these things because they have forgotten. And so BJP also needs to learn some lessons. Probably they'll watch this and learn. So that's all we can do. So let's hope. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Thank you.